Hello, my little peeps. This is Realtor Linda Peltz. My number is 559-353-4556. I thought we might do something kind of fun today. Here are 15 things you may want to consider before moving to Fresno, California. So some of them you may not like. And you may need to take that into consideration before you move here. So here's 15 reasons what that you might want to take into consideration. So Fresno is booming. We have been on the map forever, but typically as a punchline, yes, I, I know. I transplanted here about 10 years ago, so I took all this into consideration when I moved here. Things are changing and have been for a very long time now. Though moving to Fresno, California, there are 15 reasons that you will either love or hate and to live in here. One is it is a big number one. It is big city living, but it has small town, small town charm. So if you don't really like that small town feel, this may not be the place for you because even though we are a big city and we offer a lot of amenities, it does have a lot of the small, tar small town charm to it. It does have lots of shopping, uh, amazing restaurants, that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, it, we do also have the farmer markets and community events and the neighbors are friendly, that sort of thing. So that might be one thing you want to consider if you're used to that, that um, big city living and, and you like inner city type stuff. We may not be the town for you because you know what? We have that small town charm and the quieter neighborhoods. Number two, Fresno is not the high end very expensive homes. We have some beautiful homes here in town, but they're very affordable compared to the rest of California. So you may want to take that in consideration. If you're one of the, the snobbies that, you know, have to live in the, you know, million, million dollar mansions and that sort of thing, you know, just for prestige sake, Fresno may not be the town for you because we are very affordable compared to the rest of California. So that's number two. So number three to consider is if you don't like fresh produce and lots of fresh fruit, that sort of thing, we not may not be the place for you because we have access to fresh local produce year round. And we are the agricultural capital of the world. So if you don't like that healthy lifestyle and that healthy living and, you know, you're totally into other things, we may not be the place for you because we have farmers markets and we have local produce that was grown right here all year round. So another thing may be if you do not like, okay, so this is number four, a variety of food. Yeah, Fresno is the food scene. I'm telling you, we have such a wide variety of cuisines here in town. It is amazing the diversity and the, the population that's brought in. All the tremendous food is incredible around here. I know when I moved in here, um, I didn't even know half these cuisines existed. It was quite incredible. I have been introduced to some amazing food since I've been out here. So if you don't like variety and you're dead set on one certain kind of food, we may not be the place for you because we have a huge, diverse uh, culture of wonderful food around here. So number five, if you're not planning on raising a family and you want to stay single forever and um, you're just, you know, very one-sided as far as, you know, you don't want necessarily a family atmosphere, that sort of thing. We may not be the place for you because we are a great place to raise a family. We have award-winning schools in the Clovis School District, which uh, encompasses a lot of the Fresno um, zip codes, that sort of thing. 
We have a lot of family fun. We have a family friendly community and we do attract a lot of young families. So if you're planning on staying single for the rest of your life and you don't necessarily want that family friendly atmosphere, Fresno may not be for you. Number six, if you don't want a, a variety of homes, then we may not be the, the town for you because we have very, there again, diverse cultures in, and homes available here in town that meet a wide variety of, of different tastes for people. So if you like that cookie cutter look and you want a specific, specific type home and um, you're not willing to or want to uh, diversify and see what actually fits your family, you're just dead set on it, we may not be the town for you because we have a perfect home for everyone. We have lots of beautiful neighborhoods. They're very diverse, um, very um, just different housing options. Um, the school districts take into consideration if you want a specific um, location and you want a specific type of house in that particular school district, you know, we have a lot of that available. We have a ton of neighborhoods, different types available. You know, your Fresno Historic Neighborhood, the Tower District, is highly, highly sought after. And it is close, close by with street lined with cafes, bars, secondhand stores. So if you like that type of living, a very trendy neighborhood, maybe you want to go that route as well as then, of course, we have the suburbs, that sort of thing. So you decide, you decide. And then number seven, we are very friendly here in Fresno. Maybe you, you want to go through life and never talk to anybody. That's totally up to you. But we are a very friendly community. So we do have a tendency to um, say hi to people and be very friendly. I know it was kind of funny. Um, me and my daughters went up to one of the beach towns, and I won't mention which one, and they wanted to play a game. So we, we actually played a game, and, and I said, well, we're from the Midwest. You know, everybody says hi to everybody. So um, that's why we liked, one of the things we liked about Fresno it was more of a small town feel and, and whatnot and very friendly. So we went and we made sure we said hi to everybody. And it was amazing the percentage of people in, in some of those um, beach towns that did not respond back with, with that. So I think Fresno is very friendly, but maybe you don't like that. Maybe you don't want to be talked to. I don't know. That's totally up to you. Number eight, Fresno is growing leaps and bounds. Maybe you don't want to be in a community that's that's growing and booming. So we have lots of businesses, startups, people, you know, from all over are moving into town. And um, maybe you just want to keep it in a small community. Maybe you don't want to be into a larger, larger city, that sort of thing. So maybe we won't be the town for you. I don't know. That's one thing you need to consider though. We are growing like crazy here in the Central Valley, the Fresno area. So number nine, hugely diversified here. Maybe that is not for you. We have uh, a big mixture of people from different places, backgrounds, and walks of life. And we're a melting pot of diversity around through here. So we have a lot of celebrations and cultural events uh, that adhere to all these different cultures that have kind of melted into this Fresno area. So maybe that's not for you. Maybe, maybe you don't want to be in a diversified community. So number 10, arts and cultures. All arts and culture are abundant. So Fresno is a home to a vibrant cultural arts scene. And um, if you don't like the arts and, and um, that sort of activities, you know, that you want to do the art hop and Fresno Art Council and the Tower District galleries and shops. Maybe we're not the town for you. So we have a lot of, of that sort of thing, the arts and different things down through here. So number 11, uh, 
Maybe you like to just sit around and do nothing. Totally up to you, but we have a lot to do around here. So you might want to consider, you know, we're a kind of out there community and we like to do the, the concerts and the festivals and the community events and the outdoor recreation opportunities. And we have a lot of family friendly attractions and so on. So we have the Save Mart Center, um, Fresno State. Um, we have a lot of the games, basketball, football, that sort of thing. Convention Center, Saroyan Theater. Uh, the Woodward Rotary Amphitheater. We have all these attractions and different things. So uh, there's a list. We can go on and on and on, but there's a lot to do. So if you're kind of that type of person that you don't want to do nothing, you know, maybe we're not for you because we will entice you to get out of your, your comfort zone and come to some of these things. They're just too good to pass up. So that might not be for you. Number 12, hmm, the nightlife. Now, we are not the Bay Area and some of those, but, you know, we have a magnitude of, of great bars, cocktail lounges, breweries, live music joints, you name it. We have a lot of great ones out there. Now, granted, they're shut down a little bit for right now, but we will be opening back up. Our artists are online doing doing their part of entertaining us and keeping us in, in giving us something to do, that sort of thing. So that might not be a, a, a reason that you're going to like us because we do have a pretty good nightlife down here if you choose to, to accept it. 13, hmm. if you don't like being part of a community, well, I don't know we may not be the one for you because we have a huge sense of community down through here. We have a very diverse community, but it it's hubbed out and we have so many things to do. You know, the Bulldog Pride, which is our Fresno State uh, University. Um, we come together a lot for that sort of thing, the community events, uh, different things of that nature. You know, we, the Clovis Rodeo, the Wine Trail Weekends, we have a ton of that stuff. Christmas tree lane. You just have to choose to to do it. So the tower district that that has a ton. Now granted we're a little shut down at the moment, but it will all be back. I have full faith. So uh, number 14. Okay, let's face it. Fresno does not have a ton of traffic. So if you like sitting in traffic and you like fighting everybody out on the roads, then we might not be the town for you because there again, we're a little down home and we have very easy, easy driving. We can get across town in just a few minutes. So it's very accessible and convenient. So if you like all that hustle and bustle, maybe we're not the town for you because we're pretty laid back out here. Number 15, location, location, location. I'm sure there's some of you that like to be out and away, but man, we are right in the heart of California. We have close proximity to the, the different airports, LA, San Francisco, San Francisco. We have three national parks. We have everything just very close here. We're very centralized, but we are not specifically known as a um, a beach town or anything like that, but we are so centrally located that we can get to any of that. We can go to the mountains and see the snow and the next or that evening we can go out to the beach. So we're very super centrally located, but maybe you want a specific type of lifestyle. So maybe we're not the community for you, but those are my 15 reasons you may want to take into consideration when you live in Fresno and I thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of remind ourselves and go over these as to why, why we're here. Um, this is my community of choice. I've been out here for about 10 years. So this is Realtor Linda Peltz signing off. Hopefully this was kind of fun for you. It was fun for me and I look forward to helping you and answering any of your real estate questions. Everybody have a tremendous day. My number is 559 353 4556. 
my phone, uh, my license number 01997670. There again, have a great day. I look forward to working with all of you.